Hey guys, what's up? It's Abby and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Since I've been doing a little bit of online shopping while stuck in the house in Denmark, I bought a few things from ASOS and since it just came in the mail yesterday and I unboxed it yesterday and I tried all my stuff on yesterday, I figured since it's all laid out, it's a pretty easy and quick video to make for you guys and I'll also include some footage somewhere of me trying on the pieces because it's only five pieces purchased but it did come to around a hundred dollars a usd which is quite a lot in my opinion for five pieces of clothing but you know what i'm happy with what i got and i don't think i would have bought this if i was at home so with that let's get into this small haul for today and hopefully you'll enjoy this video because ah <laughs> first item in today's haul is actually kind of like the central piece. So I've made kind of two outfits in my shopping in which I'll have outfit one, which will be with this one top for both outfits and then outfit two. And so this is the top I'm wearing. This is a Little Miss Fabulous embroidered top. It's a boyfriend t-shirt. So it's kind of like oversized and baggy and I'll probably have like some sort of clip here kind of wearing it in a more casual setting. Um, probably with the jeans I'm wearing now because I wore it today and I love it because it's oversized it's soft it doesn't itch it's it's got this perfect little embroidery because in some way I really love embroidered tops because you know when it's print it's all fine and dandy but over time it wears off but this is actually made in the fabric and so it's just it makes it a little more like higher quality in my opinion I paid it, this was on sale. A lot of the items I bought were on sale with the exception of the jeans that I bought in this haul. But in any case, this item was 116.5 crowns, which is a little over $15, so maybe like $17. I'll put the um, current exchange rate at the time of this video. Um, so that's what I paid. Um, there's also a 3% upcharge since I am not using a Danish card but in any case yes so it's this little fun t-shirt and uh, I think it's probably out of everything I got it's one of my favorite pieces uh, maybe in the top two I think I got it at like a top like two items are like my absolute favorite and I don't know which one I like more oh the next items in this haul are actually a set so this is the ASOS design which means it's ASOS kind of has a little bit like a department store like a Macy's almost where they have like a bunch of, of like a variety of things and a variety of companies they have nike under armor um they have twisted wonder they have this little miss fabulous and um there's another alternative to like the little miss and they just carry a bunch of things and like hello kitty and anything but this is the kind of their design called asos design and it's a two-pack of baseball caps this was like the main reason why i bought all these clothes I wanted to do a project where I made my own embroidery on a hat, except now I'm questioning my decision to like do that because, you know, I think one of the weirdest things that I have learned that I like is I like wearing baseball caps. I feel like it, it suits me. I've discovered a whole new genre of clothing and that is hats. And, um, kind of sporty they're kind of casual it goes both the white and the black the black obviously goes for the black shirt but the white goes with the little white text so it's like slight accents um but i wanted to embroider my own like copenhagen hat and i came up with my own pattern and my own design and the thing is i don't know how to embroider and maybe just maybe um the hats look better on their own um because i could pair them with a lot more things instead of having kind of some um font you know there's a lot of influences with being in Copenhagen and I think my fashion sense when I go back home might shift again but right now I'm dressing in a very comfortable honestly I've just I've developed a whole fashion sense while being abroad but I've developed a desire to be comfortable and sexy and um <laughs> and just generally good looking like I you know feel confident going out in public with oversized t-shirt and jeans and not because it covers everything but because I know I look damn good in it um but I've also become slightly minimalistic um in the way that Danes really do wear just neutral palettes so they always have black white um or kind of a neutral brown but usually black or white um and either they'll wear all black 
and um, mostly black everything. So their summer colors is black um, and their winter colors is black. And it is so funny because it it's so true. If you ever come to visit Denmark, um, especially Copenhagen, they all wear black every time of year. I don't get it. And usually it has no like logo on it at all either. It's just very, very basic. And I kind of like that. Um, so yeah, that was 109 crowns, which is about $15, 16 maybe. Um, but yeah, this was the main reason why I bought it and I'm not even probably going to do the craft anymore. But if you want to see what designs I came up with and if you really think I should do it, maybe I'll do it on the white hat since um, I think I really like the black hat because I wear a lot of black clothes and maybe I can do it on this hat instead. Let me know. I might do a whole video on designing my own cap and trying to embroider if that's something interesting, let me know. There's already a bunch of list of things I need to do, but we'll get to them eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Next item on our list here is something that Oliver's mother suggested I buy, um, and that is a skirt. So this item is probably, it is the, you know, there's this item and this item, and these two are like tied or my favorites. Um, this skirt is something that I probably, I've always wanted like a skirt. Uh, and I, I bought this short denim skirt and I wear it from time to time, but I don't like wearing short things, but this is not necessarily a short thing. Um, it goes kind of to my waist. And since I, I think my body type is a weighted hourglass, meaning, um, I have the tight, small waist and the hips and the shoulders, shoulders are slightly broader than the hips. Um, the best kind of clothes for me are the clothes that um, kind of snug right in on my waistline to kind of show off my figure. And um, stuff like this, kind of A-line, um, where it kind of goes out, you know, the shape of an A and the pleats, I just find to be gorgeous. And plus, it's black with a lot of colors on it. So the main reason why these two go together is I'll probably, I'm going to wear this with a black bodysuit and you'll see in the clip, um, but it kind of goes right here at the waist. And the, does, the idea that I had was to kind of tuck this shirt into this skirt and I can do that. I just, I feel like it's a nice mix of casual and formal. Um, I would probably just roll the sleeves up to put these two together just because I feel like that's what it needs. And... Yeah, this is by Tw Twisted Wonder, by the way. This was one of the more expensive items. Um, there were a bunch of other options, but like, I just couldn't do them because I was like, you know, I thought about getting, I think a different a skirt or maybe a cheaper skirt, but this one was 279 and 94 crowns, which was more like $30. <laughs> um, maybe even going on uh, $50. But I, I think the quality is there. Um, the top is elastic and there is a few like loose strings, but other than tying that off and snipping it, it's not the end of the world. Um, but this is Twisted Wonder has a lot of different floral patterns like this and I kind of like it, but this was the one that I liked the most of their selection because their dresses, everything was very, 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 very expensive for a little girl like me. And we all know how things go in that line. I felt like I needed to take off my hat there. So um, the next item we have is a bandana. And you're like, bandana also, it goes with the shirts maybe. But you're kind of like, why do you need a bandana in your life? And this is also by Sinx, Sinx S, uh, S Y N X. Um, it's basically an orange ombre bandana. I mean, I don't know how to use bandanas yet. No, that's definitely not how I use a bandana. But my idea, and I saw like on Pinterest, you know, look at me using Pinterest, kind of like having, we were supposed to go on this hiking trip and it was canceled after I placed this order. Um, at least me going on it has been canceled. And my idea for sun protection, because if you can't tell, I'm a ghost. Oh, I, I am almost as white as this baseball cap. I have some pinky tones to it, obviously, but in any case, hair pulled up, back, sun you know, there's going to be sun exposure here if I was going to going a hike. Um, and so I thought this would be a fun way to incorporate kind of sun protection on the back of my head in combination with this hat that I would have custom designed. Um, and, you know, I've never really had a bandana of my own. 
and I felt like, you know, it's kind of, it's a fun piece. I mean, there's a lot you can do with a bandana. I just have to obviously maybe research it a bit more. Um, but you know, it's just, it's just fun. You know, I, I, I don't even think I have to add any little try and bits for the hats and this, but you know, this is, this is definitely not, but if you like wearing bandanas, maybe I'll add it as like a purse accessory or just, I don't know yet. But this was 59 crowns, um, more of an impulsive decision for this one. But if you like to wear bandanas or if maybe I should use it on my dog, I think it's very nice. Maybe I'll just um, be in a Western movie here. Then uh, I would appreciate your recommendations um, on how to style this. Because, you know, I'm not a fashion get expert, even though my shirt says Little Miss Fabulous. Fab fabulous. I am, I am not necessarily a little Miss Fabulous, but <laughs> in any case, how, how would you wear a bandana like this? Like, is this the perfect look? <laughs> you know, no one needs to see this part anyway. Last item in today's haul is some shorts. Now, I have been on an all denim craze and these are Bermuda shorts and they look slightly better when they're slightly furled up but they're a little uncomfortable when I do that. Um, but maybe I'll stitch it so that it stays or maybe I'll just leave it like this. But I've been in like an all denim craze ever since my birthday present from my boyfriend it was a 95, or was it 99? I don't know, 95, 97% um, denim jeans. There was one girl in my program while I was abroad and she was like, I only wear denim. And I just love denim, except I have to buy new pairs every like three months. And I was like, oh, really? I usually like, you know, American Eagle Dream Jeans, which is one of the most expensive dream jeans they have. And by the way, now that I've experienced real denim, I think they suck because when I put them on, I chafe, I sweat. You know, I'm learning how to dress fashionably and be comfortable. And now I want to wear my jeans like I wear sweatpants um, or yoga pants because they're so comfortable. I could just wear them all day. Um, but in any case, this is a bit strange maybe, but I don't like having really short shorts because, um, I put a lot of my weight on my thighs and my booty and a little bit on my tummy, but it chafes, especially when I'm maybe a little more bloated or in any case. So they're long enough for that, but I can also wear it with this t-shirt being oversized. I can wear the shorts down or I can roll it up if I tuck the shirt in and it's a nice color denim and it is also I wear a European size 40 which is a US 8 in case you needed to know that for a reference um but yeah I mean it's by let's see Berksha Berska B-E-R-S-H-K-A and um it's made in Turkey and um yeah but real denim I don't I don't know I just find that you know it's a little bit tight um right now but before you break in denim it's better to have it like slightly tight um because when you break it in they become like the most comfortable pants ever the only issue is when you wash them in the wash machine they immediately go whoop, and then they're back to where they were before and all you're breaking in um definitely just wore off so it's not as comfortable as it was when you broke it in by wearing it for two weeks so they have different washing um, methods and I had been looking into like how to care for them um, and I'm just kind of dealing with having to re-break them in right now but when I go home um, I'll be incorporating that for my specifically my high cotton denim jeans and in any case I'm done with the rambling I've done a lot of rambling in on this channel but I feel like I've left you off at a good point. Um, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you have any more suggestions for me, please leave them down below. If you want to join my Discord server, that is a thing now. You can join with the link in the description, or if I pin a comment, you can join that way. Um, my Instagram DMs are always open, so feel free to talk to me there if you need to. Um, yeah. In any case, the next video I'm hoping to film and publish is one that I've been like, oh, I should do this one for two months straight. And that, my friends, is the video about um, the kind of the overall haul of what I have bought 
Um, I probably will may miss a few items like pajamas or on you know socks or underwear or things like that. But that's my next big task, and that just involves me doing laundry and sitting down and filming. But my program just ended, and I'm all hyped. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.